It's dawn in Kakamega, a town in western Kenya adjacent to this ancient rainforest. Women and girls are collecting water for their families from a nearby spring, and others are doing the same at rivers and boreholes close by. It's a daily ritual and a deadly battle. The unclean water they bring home hosts waterborne bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Typhoid, cholera, and amoeba kill tens of thousands each year. Some women boil water to purify it. Others are not able to because they cannot access affordable firewood. Those that do boil water spend large parts of their day collecting firewood from the precious dwindling forest. The fires release toxic smoke that can cause health problems, particularly for children. The forests that are home to enormous biodiversity and absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere are being destroyed for firewood at an alarming rate. But since 2011, all that is changing. A new water filter has been developed. It's easy to use and requires no power. This removes the need to boil water. Filter manufacturers Vestergaard Fransen partnered with climate and development experts Climate Care to unlock a unique source of funding and bring structure and scale to the project. This has enabled distribution of filters to families across Western Kenya, delivering safe water, saving lives, improving health, and relieving pressure on forests. What is this unique funding stream? Climate finance. Using the filters reduces demand for wood to boil water. This means that less carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. Through regular visits to educate families on using the filter and monitoring their use, emission savings are calculated, verified by an independent third party and the Gold Standard Foundation. They are then registered as carbon credits and sold to organizations across the world who buy them in order to offset their own carbon emissions. There is a strong demand from global businesses who want to support social and health improvements as well as cut carbon emissions. And it really is making a difference. Every year, this climate care supported project delivers nearly 5 billion litres of safe drinking water to 4.5 million people in Western Kenya. The project saves hundreds of thousands of tons of wood from being burnt and carbon dioxide from being emitted. I'm Nora Bikete. I draw water from the pump. I bring it here. Then I filter. After filtering, I give it to my children. I feel safe using live straw water because it is easy to prepare, it's not very expensive, and it is safe for children. Once we empower the people, they will no longer go to the forest to destroy. I can only say we are very proud as Kenya Forest Service to be associated with Life Straw Vestacard as a way of assisting the people to uplift their standard of living. Traditionally, carbon finance has been used to reduce emissions at large point sources such as a power station or a factory. The difference here is that there are hundreds of thousands of interventions at a household level and that has had a significant impact. This project is reducing CO2 by over two and a half million tonnes a year. This makes it one of the biggest carbon reduction projects in the world. And it doesn't end there. Using climate finance to fund the project gives it a better chance of being successful in the long term. Vestergaard Fransen only receives payment when the project delivers verified carbon credits. The result is that supporting continued use of the filters through regular ongoing education, maintenance and replacement programs is as important as distributing them in the first place. Climate Care is working with Vestergaard Fransen and other partners on similar projects across the world using climate finance to bring measurable health and social benefits as well as reduce global emissions.
Ah, 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 ah,